Earlier this spring, Northwest Christian soccer player Gavin Coner put pen to paper and achieved a dream, signing a national letter of intent with Clemson Paralympic Soccer. It's been a long road that has needed mental and physical toughness, but it's a goal that's been in his sights for a long time. He only applied to one school and it was Clemson. So, I mean, that's kind of where he's always wanted to go. The kid is dedicated, you know, doesn't eat sugar. I mean, even in 12 years old, we'd go to movies and he would pack his trail mix to not eat sugar. Like that's the dedication Gavin has. You know, it's protein shakes every night. He works out every night. During his birth, Gavin's umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck, resulting in mild cerebral palsy, affecting mainly the limbs on the right side of his body. He needed braces on his arm and leg growing up and received regular Botox injections to relax his muscles. The family went to Germany for a stem cell procedure and Gavin eventually received a reconstructive leg surgery in 2014. In between trips to the doctor, the son of a coach found a home on the soccer pitch. It was hard at times, but during sports, that's like where I felt like I could be myself. And that's where I really excelled, I felt like. While in the process of Gavin's procedure, the family met a Paralympian skier and decided to look into Team USA soccer for their son. They lined up a tryout, and the rest is history. He ended up being one of the youngest players to ever qualify for the Paralympic soccer team. So that's kind of what I think got him confident and got him going in terms of where he can go, what he can do, and giving him a vision, especially with Clemson now and his goals beyond that. As a 15-year-old, Gavin started training internationally with players a decade older than him. It helped his game and gave him a new perspective. So he was away from us as parents, you know, sending a 15-year-old across the world to a room with 25-year-olds, I think was a big step in trust for us. But I think it, what it did is it opened him up in terms of being around other people, especially older kids with cerebral palsy and seeing how they deal with it. And I think coming back from that, really boosted his confidence to be proud of who he is and what he is. Brought a sense of comfort knowing that like people are going through the same thing so we could like relate with a lot of stuff throughout our lives and like oh you did this so do I like you don't really I don't really have any other friends like here that could relate with me about that stuff so it was really nice having them in my life now. Gavin came back a stronger player and more comfortable in his own skin and it showed on his high school team. As a senior, he was second on the team and sixth in his region in goals scored. He's always done everything we've asked him, and we honestly, we don't even, it's, it's, it's way back here, it's even second thought the way he plays. He plays just like every other person that we have. With his high school career behind him, Gavin now looks ahead to his future with Clemson, a program he's very familiar with. When I had a training camp there um, with the U.S. Paralympic team, they gave me a tour of the campus, the whole team, and that's when I really was like, that's where I want to go. The Clemson Paralympic soccer team is partnered with Team USA. The two organizations are in constant communication, and Gavin is looking forward to representing his school and potentially his country in the years to come. I'm just trying to be a full member of the team as soon as possible, whether that be World Cup or Para Pan Am Games or anything. I want to be a part of the team for sure. I hope he has that opportunity to play for, for the U.S. I mean, that's, that's such a cool opportunity for him and for even for us just to say that we had a kid that played for the national team. And, and he's just a cool kid that gets, gets that opportunity. And it couldn't happen to a better kid for, for that. And he wants to represent and inspire those who are on the same path he was as a child. I just want to show them, like, you, you can do what you want to do if you really put your mind to it. Like, set your goals and go try to achieve them as much as you can.